Matt Donnelly here at the Rap Studios with the star of Better Call Saul, amongst other things, Mr. Patrick Fabian. Thank you so much for coming. Well, thank you for having me. How are you doing? Season two. Very excited about like, that. People have oh, been tuning in and enjoying yeah, it. Yeah, like viewership spike, lots of great attention. I mean, did you guys, you must have had some idea from Breaking Bad that this would become. Well, sure. I mean, Breaking yeah. Bad was such a, a giant, giant thing that it was kind of the 800 pound of the gorilla when we first, uh, you know, started. But right. the good news is I think all those fans really dig the show. And then those who have never watched Breaking Bad, the mm -hmm. few that are out there, I think really like it on its own. Your character, I think, is one of the more uh, fun ones, too, in a, in a landscape of that's a lot of people are in distress, constantly in danger. You have a more buttoned up, almost like. Patrick Bateman, American Psycho kind of vibe of a uh, of attorney. Is that fun to play? And it's very fun to play. Yeah. You know, there's a there's a great sense of being. Uh, it's nice because there's H H M. It's nice to be in charge. You know, yeah. when we do the, the, the big <laughs> scenes with the the law table, yeah. it's nice to be at the head. And so there's a there's a, a relaxation I think that Howard's character gets to have. You know, because things are going well. I mean, things are kind of bumpy with Jimmy, and things are obviously a little bit crazy with Chuck and whatnot. Yeah. But really, his universe as a whole is pretty solid, you know? He, he's got a nice suit, and he doesn't seem to be sweating in it. Absolutely. And what about, and poor Kim. What? On, is she ever going to catch a break? Poor I mean, Kim. <laughs> I, I'm getting so much flack this season about what I've been doing to Kim, and my first response is always, well, she earned it. Oh, come on, you know, I've got a business to run here. We have like, Twitter questions if I can run some by you, oh, too. Oh, fantastic. Um, but when you're ever going to let her out of the doghouse? At, uh, at Stephen Adamson wants to know. Well, Stephen, I guess when, when, <laughs> when she's good and ready. How about that? <laughs> um, and is it hard for you uh, as an actor, just working with a colleague and also as a character, to constantly cold shoulder? Do you ever just want to give in? Well, it's funny with Ray in particular. Her and I, um, we have a ball on set. Yeah. We're like brother and sister. And uh, we're so excited to be on the show. And we tease each other mercilessly. And then all of a sudden, when the camera's running, you know, I get to be this big a-hole towards her, <laughs> which is delicious for me. And uh, I think it really adds a lot of depth, because I think ultimately Howard and Kim have a history of warmth with one another. Right. You know, they like one another. Uh, Howard clearly likes her. He's been grooming her for something. Mm -hmm. So I think his disappointment is even keener when she, when she does disappoint him. Where do you draw inspiration for that kind of a-hole? Like, what's in your a-hole toolbox? Like, is there an wow. acting coach you had, a neighbor? Yeah, a like neighbor, a <laughs> that's right. I think it's more of an amalgamation. I used to always think I was sort of the boy next door yeah. in my career, mm -hmm. and as my mother's pointed out, that is so not the case. I'm, <laughs> I'm the CEO who poisons children. Absolutely. I'm the, the doctor who has malpractice. <laughs> so uh, I guess the camera sees something in me that I'm afraid, uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm disturbed that I actually have. So tell us where Howard sort of is right now in the season. I know that he's obviously driving you towards a, a, a more, trying to get the place from a more lucrative place, and dealing with everything flying in his face. Just give us like a check-in as to what's happening now and what we can expect in the next episode or two. Well, you know, with Kim especially, you know, she uh, things are moving along, but, you know, mm -hmm. uh, Kim had to be uh, punished, for lack of a better word, uh, <laughs> only because I, I think he he's grooming her for something, and so mm -hmm. he's, he's disappointed if she can't actually deliver. Right. Meanwhile, he's got a ship to run, and that's why he disciplines her, even mm -hmm. if he does like her. Jimmy is slowly being this sort of screwy thorn in his company's side. He tried to do the right thing by getting him a job at Davis in Maine, and he's mm -hmm. sort of not being rewarded for it. Right. And let's face it, his partner, the only living partner we've seen, McGill, is still wearing a space blanket. So <laughs> uh, maybe not all is well in the kingdom. Thank you so much for your time. Matt, we'll thank you. We'll point everyone Matt. to all the great stuff you're doing. Thank you. Thank you.